Many instruments have the ability to play in multiple clefs. It's good practice when the instrument goes outside what is a comfortable range to change the clef in the music. It makes it easier for the player to read. Now that's obviously very straightforward to do in Sibelius and we're going to have a look at that in this video here. This is a wee piece for the cello. Um, it's, you probably recognise it. It's the Londonderry Air or sometimes called Danny Boy. Let's have a listen to it. So this is all nice and comfortably sitting in the bass clef, no problems there whatsoever. At this point it starts to go fairly high, so you might want to think about tenor clef at this point. And this wee bit is actually quite high even for tenor clef, so that should really think about getting into treble clef. So we could theoretically use three different clefs in this piece. So let's have a look at that. The clefs are located in Sibelius on the Notations tab. As of course you would expect, there is of course a shortcut, which is Q. If I click on the letter Q, it opens up the clefs gallery. The ones we're going to be concerning ourselves with for this example are the treble, the bass and the tenor. However, you will see that there are many others from which to choose. Some that you probably have never heard of before. But we're going to stick ourselves with the common ones up here. Now, I could, for example, let's say at this point here, I want this note here to here-ish. We're going to put into the tenor clef. And the way to do it, the efficient way to do it in Sibelius, is to select the area that you want it to apply to. I'm going to go to there, go to your clefs gallery, and select the clef. And notice what it does, is it changes the clef at the point you started, and it automatically changes back at the end of your selection. This, these, Both of these clefs, in fact, can be moved around to fine-tune exactly where the clef changes. And remember, of course, you can always drag the bar lines around if you want to give yourself a wee bit extra space just to make it sit nice and neat. So that's the efficient way to use clefs. You select the area you want it to apply to and then you change the clef and it will automatically change back afterwards. And it's not unusual for a single bar to be in a clef. So for example, I can select this bar here, go to my clefs, pick treble clef, Treble clef for that, and it comes back into bass clef there, with the cautionary at the end of the previous line. I'm not changing any of the notes. It's worth noticing. It's not. I'm not. I'm not changing any of the notes. I'm just changing the clef in which they're written. The piece will still sound exactly the same. So from there, for example. Known tenor clef, of course. To treble clef. And back into bass clef. And that's how you can efficiently and effectively use clefs in Sibelius.